I Okay, I think we're going now. Um, hi, y'all. We are going now. It was a little stuttery there. Yeah, my computer need, needs help. So hopefully when the boyfriend is in town in December, he'll, he'll he can... clear it out he and can, do all kinds of stuff. He likes to tell me I'm a bad computer mommy without actually saying I'm a bad computer mommy. Uh, what are you supposed to do? Uh, apparently you're supposed to, like, wipe its brain. You're supposed to back up its brains, wipe its brains, and then reload its brains Good periodically. God. Oh, and, my God. And I also didn't update the system for a very long time because it just kept on saying, oh, you can do this update. And I was like, I, not now. I have to shut all my windows. And he told me I was a bad computer well, I'm mommy not wiping not so many words. I have to reload SPSS. Right, I have but to you reload have more all programs you have to load. God, just... I know. All right, so, so who are you? I'm Liz, or Elizabeth. I'm <laughs> to Liz for you on Ravelry, T-O-O-L-I-Z-Z-F-O-R-Y-O-U on Ravelry and Instagram. And who are you? I have no idea. No. <laughs> I'm Carolyn. Well, well I, 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 can, I can do this one. You're, you're my mom. Yes. You're Carolyn. Yes. You're C. Predmore without the E, so that's C-P-R-E-D-M-O-R on, on Ravelry, Ravelry and, and Instagram. Instagram. Yes. You did accidentally make a second Instagram account of Carolyn Predmore, which she has not subscribed to anyone, I think, except for myself. With oh, no, I did. You I did? Think. But oh, it is now no longer on her cell phone, so we should not have to deal with that anymore. Uh... And I think that happened at work. It, it, it yeah. must have, because I got a text message going, I think I created a second account. And I'm going, I'm <laughs> not sure you did, but we'll take a look at it over I Thanksgiving. Had, I had. And then I checked my email the next morning, and it's like, you're followed by Carolyn Predmore. I was like, yeah, you yeah, might, you did. <laughs> I you don't know did exactly that. No I idea. don't either. I don't know. Um, so anyway. But if you couldn't tell, it's a Saturday after Thanksgiving. No, it's and Sunday. Sunday. Oh, dear Lord. We lost a day. It was, we were in traffic. <gasps> it was a very long day. It's been a very long week. Uh, we, we recorded on Wednesday. Yes. But so we are a little early. I mean, Wednesday was supposed to be last Sunday, yes. but so, so we're, we're trying to keep we're this back on time. Yes. We're back on Sunday. Um, and, and next Sunday we're going to have a field trip again. Yes. That will be wonderful. Yes. Uh, I have to confirm with Cass that she okay. bought those bookshelves. Yes. Um, but other than that, we are doing pretty well. We're trying not to just keel over. Why did we want over. to turn that off? We turned it off because it won't ding then every time I get a text message. And the volume will still work? Yes, the volume okay. will still work. I Bye. muted the sound on the computer. and If you say so. We can, okay. we can confirm. I should mention that it's gotten chilly in New York. Um, it's supposed to be up to 40 degrees. It felt warmer, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but I have my hat. However, the reason I'm in no sleeves is because my apartment... Is 85. Is, is quite warm. I have windows open. And there's no heat turned on. She's on the fourth floor, and this is what happens. But in my place, it's which cold. is a house, it's cold. So this is my hat. It is the Regina... By Karina Spencer. It's really pretty. You and got the yarn at... I love it. I got it at... Rhinebe is that a Rhinebeck no, or was that Vogue Manning Live? Neither one. This was the Yarn Company in New York City. Oh, it was. It was one of our little... We did our own yarn crawl in New York City. We had gone to Nitty City and the Yarn Company and... Pearl, went, Soho, Pearl Soho. And then we went to my, get my shoes and your shoes. Right. Last year. Yeah, about a year a little bit more than a year. No, yes. it was more it was than that. I have had those boots for at least. So anyway, we did it sometime hundreds. last year. We did it in the the, the past, past, not the yes. recent past. Um, so anyway, I'm not I wearing really any love then. it. And then, and then her sweater. Wait a minute, I was going to show my gloves. Oh goodness, yes, because it was cold. So anyway, I, she this walked morning. in my apartment and did this. So she comes in. She doesn't even say hello. No. She but and all she does. Let is go. when she gets it put it put on she goes like this with that face look mm -hmm. look look that it's cut somehow i managed to cut my glove but she walks into my apartment i go oh hi you know uh, good to see you and she she goes uh, me go <laughs> one stitch one stitch gone and it makes that hole luckily i have the yarn so i will fix it and meanwhile i find a slip stitch in this one, which is only starting a hole, can you see? It's right, it's that piece right there. I obviously have a problem with thumbs. Obviously. So when I get home, I will fix that. And then, yes, I also made my sweater probably two years ago. 
Yeah, it's out of, it's that the... That's this is Big Apple. Big Apple by uh, Dragonwood. Or Dragon Dragonwood, Fly. Dragonfly Fibers. Why did I say Dragonwood? Well, that's like neighbor, neighborhood, but all mixed together. Yeah. So this is by Dragonfly. Dragonfly often makes colorways for the New York uh, Vogue Netting Live. And mm. now has started doing colorways for... Uh, Rhinebeck, which is really exciting, and, and I think we talked about those. Yes, we definitely talked we about definitely those. We definitely talked about those. Anyway, we this is got something them. that we did. This is what I bought for my first Vogue Knitting Live. We were, she was so excited. She had been... I had not been. I had only been to Rhinebeck at that point. But you Mom, had been online, and you said, yes. they got a colorway. We have to get it. So, And it was on their website, so yes. we could see it in advance, unlike Miss Babs, where you go and you find it what it is. Um, and she does that for Rhinebeck. I don't think they're at Vogue Knitting Live. They're not. No. So, um, and then the next year when we went to Vogue Knitting Live, Dragonfly didn't have a Vogue Knitting Live colorway. No. They had a colorway that they were, they, they had yarn that they were trying to disperse. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but anyway, then I said, you know, my sweater is one that I made from your big apple. I mean, I, it's one of the things I take away. And then last year they did have a colorway. Lady Liberty. I yes. have that. I and have I haven't that. done anything with it just yet. I haven't but either. It's going to be a Mulberry Street with, uh, it's going to be held. So anyway, Mulberry Street is, yes, is from the Rhinebeck sweater yeah. book that is old up together. Uh, it's uh, a Ooh, lace weight held here. with a DK or a worsted weight. And you knit those together and it's a broken rib pattern. Uh, it's really pretty. And I got Lady Liberty in lace weight, and then I got a gray, I believe it's Charles Circle, from uh, Neighborhood in their Studio Worsted. And I'm going to make the sweater out of that eventually. What sweater was that? Uh, that was the Mulberry Street. Okay. Um, we're actually trying to get our notes that we put down below pretty well uh, Set organized up as, we do, as we do this, since we don't... Thank goodness for cell phones. Well, and I think... Well, and... and cause my husband loves to turn everything off when we leave oh, for yes. leave leave for more than a day. So he has his power strip and he turned it off. So last night as we're sitting down, I don't know what that weird thing is. Anyway, um, he says, "Oh, I didn't turn the internet on because his iPad does not have cell service; it only has Wi-Fi." So he jaunts upstairs, turns it on, comes downstairs, and says, "It's not working. I don't see what is it? Uh, the Wi-Fi." I just, what is our name for Wi-Fi? Is it, was, I don't remember. It was something, Halcyon. 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 I don't see Halcyon. I see, but one of our neighbors has named their Zelda. I said, I don't know. I think it's one of ours because my computer recognized it, logged on immediately. And of course she tells me the story and my first reaction is, oh, so it connected to your cell phone because her cell phone's is name Zelda. is Zelda. <laughs> I and love she Zelda. Goes, Oh, no, I said, I realized that a couple hours later, oh, and yeah. I told him. So he is, I left him at home uh, trying to figure out what he's going to do for a router. Um, and, and This will be interesting. Yes, because the router that comes from Fios is unreliable. So you need to attach a router to it so that you've got the Fios bring all the signals in, and then the router actually dispersing them, so... I left him at home to do that. We'll, we'll see. Oh, we'll see if you come home to a we house that's being ripped up or not. Because well, his, his, we'll his modus operandi when it comes to electronics is to take everything out and spread it all oh, over the house. You're right. You're right. And then assess the problem and then slowly put it all back together. Yes. Yes. So anyway, that's where we're at with the Wi-Fi. So we had talked about, well, we went to see the movie. Well, so... Last on Wednesday, we talked about how we had just gotten back from everything, and we were getting ready for Thanksgiving and seeing yes. all the family. We saw all the family. We've it done was a small Thanksgiving. There were only was. thirty-six of us, not forty. There was one family that didn't show up that they thought might show up because right. they never RSVP. No, they're wonderful. They just never RSVP. So, but it was nice. It was calm, very calm. It was. Yes, and Which then was weird. It's so weird for our um, family. And then, of course, everything, uh, everybody left by 5 o'clock. And, and everyone this year wants big gifts. So, so we're, we're all just giving money to, right, you know. So instead of running through the ads, although there were three trips or two trips to Target. Two trips to Target. For uh, DVDs. DVDs and a toaster and blankets. Right. Because right. my cousin works for the government now and can no longer give her customary bottle of wine to, to her coworkers. Friends. 
so she's going, and apparently her office is quite chilly, so she's going to get blankets. And then I suggested that from then on she could do flavors of coffees just like you can do flavors of wine. So we'll see what happens next year. We'll see. Um, and then, so then, because of that, we were, Mom was like, I want to go to a movie. Yes. And I was like, okay, well. Me meanwhile, my father-in-law, who come with us, is, he's ready to leave and go back to the hotel at, at like 5 o'clock. And I said, no, nope, we're not going. That's, this is not the end. We're, we get a second win, so find some place to be comfortable. And he did, and then he went downstairs and watched football with the gang, and, and my brother had said he did not want to see Fantastical Beasts. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Where to Find Them. But I said, I want to. And my aunt and my cousins wanted to. So I went downstairs, and I said, so who wants to go see the movie with me? There's one at 9.15. And my husband said yes. And my sister-in-law said yes, and my nieces said yes, and, and the And your nephew said yes. Yes, Joe said yes, and uh, Austin said yes. So nine tickets later, we all had tickets except for my brother for Fantastic Beasts. And so we went to see the 915 show. I it was loved good. it. It was funny, really good. Funny thing, though, um, the main character, Newt, is a little nebbishy. A little. A little. I mean, he's endearing, but a little, but, and short -ish. Yes. But at dinner the following night, which would be Friday night, my sister-in-law compares my nephew to the main character and calls him socially awkward. <laughs> no, she didn't say socially awkward. She said, or at least as far as I heard, you were close I to her. I was there. She, she said, said socially, socially awkward. awkward. Well, Joe only heard the awkward part. Thank God. And I only heard the awkward part. And I was like, well, and? I'm awkward. Deal with it. Do I really care that that's I an adjective? I couldn't believe she he, said it. He, he went lost off. his mind. Well, he, well I'm mean, sure it's a touchy subject. It is. I understand. He's very much a sports person, and to be awkward in... It, it, within his friend group is not exactly a compliment, unlike my friend group, who's like, you're awkward. I'm like, yes, and you're what? Because they are, too. I love them. Awkward. Terribly. I managed to put on a pair of gloves and tear them. I know. Unbelievable. Uh, so, the, so then he was like, well, I guess I'm not coming to dinner on Sunday. And I was like, seriously, you're going to give up a free meal because she called you awkward. Uh, okay. I'd be whatever. if I were you because my sister was a really good cook. She is. She we is. had some fantastic food. Did we already talk about the shrimp? We talked about the shrimp on Wednesday because they was on Wednesday. They was promised us more shrimp for Christmas. I'm really excited. And about I that. have the recipe, so that's going to be at New Year's. That'll be yes. good. And then we had that mac else. and cheese. From mac oh my god, the mac and cheese! It's a, it was a baked mac and cheese, which is not something we do with on Daya, the regular with Daiya cheese. Yes, or Daiya cheese. It's it not something great. we do on the regular just because of the the time it takes, essentially. Yes. Um, but my cousin's roommate is gluten-free, or no, is vegan, and so she got the recipe from oh, her, and it was really good, it's and they wonderful. put bacon in it. It was great. Wonderful. So that, we're not vegan. We're just dairy-free and gluten-free. So maybe I'll make a pan of that for New Year's, too. Oh, my God. It'd be great. We'll see. It's great. We'll have to plan further. So anyway, I love the movie. I would recommend it. It was really cute. I um, didn't think there was a dead spot in it. No, and I'm intrigued to see how it's going to move on. Yes, uh, for the absolutely. second one, um, absolutely, and further because apparently they're going to I be mean, five of them total. Obviously, is is there's going to be following because just the way it ended, it had mm -hmm. an end, but then it had a promise of of more, of more. seeing. So um, I'm I'm excited, and I would certainly go. I I yeah. rate it. I'd rate it a four. Highly, I'd rate it highly. I rated four thumbs up. Hey, oh, oh, I was not aware I was supposed to do that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's what we did on Thursday. Thursday. And then on Friday, after we ended got up... Got up at 7. Yes. We went to the yarn store, and we got yarn. I thought I was going to do real well and not get anything, and then I saw this beauty. I saw this beauty at the bottom of a shelving rack. If I had seen it, I would have taken it. And you can't tell, but, but there's like a pink shine. and purple. And there's a shine to it. And I was and like, who is it? It's the Fiberists. It's Newton Worsted. It's 60% uh, Merino, 40% Silk. And it's gorgeous. Oh, my God. And I was like, well, there are 500 and something yards. There's was there 550 that? in other colors. Oh, not that color. Not this. This was the only purple one uh, I saw, or else I would have gotten an entire sweater's worth out of this. Uh, um, so I was like, well, as you can tell, I needed different colors. So I then picked up. 
this silver. Oh yes, I remember that. And it it's beautiful. And I was like, well, this, I could do a two color is pinker something. than it's showing up. Yeah, it still works really it's well. Really, pretty. and this is more gray than white. Yes, than it's showing up. And I was like, well. I could do this, or I could do this and a black, or I could do the black and the purple. And she came up to me with all or of them. Or I could do that. And we decided that was perfect. That I was think perfect. I'm going to make a low contrast by Suvi Small. I can't, I don't remember her oh, last name. Oh, yeah. Low contrast uh, out of these. Uh, I think the purple is going to be my main color, and mm -hmm. then the other two. I think I might have to do some editing on the sleeves uh, in order to make the yardage work, because this is... 550 per skein uh, and the main color you need about 700 I think for oh and that's because the sleeves are done maybe it's like 600 it's more than the 550 but less than maybe you could do it the cuff one. and something else or or because on one side it goes it, it does an asymmetric thing and I could maybe make that line up with one of the sleeves nice or I could just do shorter sleeves we'll see but this is so pretty and it Follows my rules of being Ben friendly because it is 40% silk. Uh, and then you did not lose your mind. But I did not. I actually was pretty good uh, in terms of what yeah. I bought. I mean, I was hoping to buy um, some Irish yarn. They have, um, I think they have hedgehog fibers. They have hedgehog, I believe. Um, and I can order it from them online. I can call them. They would do that for me. But I, I was really hoping to find it in the store because then I could just pick it up. But I didn't. And she really, and if you watch Wednesday, you'll see that she really loves my bum hugger. Yeah. And I wore it on Thursday to Thanksgiving and it was a big hit. Everyone was like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. And I was like, it's a giant triangle or <laughs> rectangle that you sew it up and it's easy. And, of course, all of our cousins are like, that's so ingenious. I'm like, you could do it, too. It's not that Absolutely. hard. Absolutely. Come on. And they're like, no, no, so I don't this, have the skill for that. So, instead, Mom then picked up a this, purple and a black to hold together. To hold double. And I think that will be really pretty. It's Cascade Eco. It's beautiful. Why is there veg matter in my shawl? Well, it's, it's wool. So, it will... It'll be a bit tweedy. tethered. Right. Um, and I, I'm just really pleased. It's 100% Peruvian Highland wool. How I wish that when we were going to Peru that we'd be going to the Highlands instead of the Lowlands. I but, know. Um. We can always go back. We could go back. Well, that would be I fun. can go for the first time, you can go back. Right. And then there was a, uh, top that was on a mannequin. It was the Iro Irocata Tea. The Irocata Tea. By and Olga Boraya Cafelin. <laughs> And so it was it made was out of this 100% linen. Linen. And, and it's two colors. So this is Kalinka. And this is a numbered colorway, 589, which is obviously red. And then this one is 220, which is kind of like a, a neutral. It's like a beige, naturally beige natural brown. And so it is a pattern that, let's see if I can pull it up. It's one color in the front, and then it's another color in the back, and the back actually kind of cuts down in the into the front along the sides. It's really beautiful. Let's see um, if we can... Kind of. Kind of. Where it's so. dark, that's one color, and where it's light, it is another color. So, I'm very excited about it. Um, so, I, I got that. So the, Basically, I got sweater quantities. Again, but... The only thing you did, the only thing she got in the, in a thinner weight is the stuff for the arcata tea. Yes. The linen, which was beautiful on the mannequin. It was, it had been washed so, and blocked, obviously. <gasps> for I your monos. Yeah. Yes. So I have, I have that pattern. Oh. I, um, so anyway, then I found this, because I really was trying to get, thicker wool since I'm usually playing and fingering and I don't have uh, many must worsted or um, bulky or, or anything or else. Anything really above fingering she doesn't I, really I don't have, have much of. So I'd say this is DK. This is kind of a DK. This is Maxima by Manos de Uruguay and as you can see it is a gray and a pink with a where the gray fades into the pink it becomes purplish. It's really pretty. I like it a lot. And what I've done is I've already put it into my queue. 
as the sort of Tokuto's all right, a Soyokaze. And it, um, oh, oh. oh, hold on. There. Uh, there. Like, maybe. Kind of, yeah. I will obviously link to it in the show notes. So it has, it's a bit asymmetric. It has a, a cable down uh, one side. That and it then has a little, the little V, a little, little tuck. Uh, tuck in the I like hem. it. It's really like pretty. It. It's a Japanese pattern. It'll be beautiful. So we are, we at Vogue Knitting Live yes. are going to be taking how to knit Japanese patterns um, so I think that this would be great for me to bring with me to Vogue Knitting Live so that I can try it out. And so we're doing one Japanese knitting one day and one the other yeah. day. So I can see maybe the first day will be enough for me to get started on the pattern. Um, so I'm very excited about that. And then, um... You picked up sock blockers. I did! I, I wanted sock blockers. Sock blockers. Sock blockers. Sock blockers. Sock blockers. Now... They only had large and small, and since my foot is not large, I got small. It will be helpful still to um, display, take photos, display, take photos, and to block them. And you know what? I while we were at the movies, I did knit on my sock. You did. I am within an inch of the first heel, so that's nifty. And of course, you and I both knit at that first movie. I did. And then I picked up a crochet hook, Knitter's Pride Dreams. Um, it is a G hook, my favorite hook. It is a size six, a four millimeter. And when I am crocheting, my happy place is a size G. What can I tell you? Um, and I wanted to get, I like crochet hooks that are somewhat sharp. Um, we'll yeah, if, if you haven't this, noticed, she likes sharp implement in, in I do. Um, Because I want them to act like fingers. And since yeah. I, there's no prehensile type of thing, yeah. I want it sharp. We'll see if this is sharp enough, or maybe I have to take a file to it. And indent it a little bit more. I'll probably break it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, you know. So that's what I did. And I'm quite, quite pleased with myself. I No Irish yarn, but certainly Peruvian yarn, um, like crazy, and Uruguayan yarn. So I was rarely into it. And Kalinka, I think, is Swedish. Yes. So I, I was very international in my yarn buying, or yes. In my See, yarn I was. Buying. I'm pretty sure I was more local. I believe. I believe the fibrists are local. I think they are. Are local uh, to DC. Virginia. Yeah, Virginia. Um, but uh, so as we both said, we were knitting in the movies. I was working on my Gilmore Girls knit along. I was working on Clue One, which is down here. Uh, so I. This uh, broken rib uh, mitered corner took forever, and I tried I tried working on it while talking with family, and it just wasn't moving. So I brought it to the movies, and I made it within two rows, so one repeat of where I needed it to be to split it off uh, to do the rest to start the rest of the clue and the rest of the the cowl, and I was very proud of myself. Um, I guess we'll continue talking about this. Um, so I've gotten through, so this is clue one and clue two. I'm now working on clue three. Uh, and hopefully I'll be up through clue four maybe tonight or tomorrow. And I'll be able to block it and then seam it together. It's a beautifully written pattern. And it's it's quite a beautiful shawl. There are three different sections of uh, lace patterns. I, I don't really know how this top, the third one is going to work out just yet, but this is a, this is a traveling lace kind of cable Pretty. pattern, and this is a, just a mesh almost. Uh, nice. You can't really see it. So I'm light. waiting to see it all done before I pick out my fingering yarn. I think I it'll be do. great. Even if you knit it on sevens out of fingering weight, I think that it, it's a great cowl. Um, yeah, I think it'll work for me because I like little lighter things anyway. Yeah, I mean, I think it can be done even if you do it only two colors. I think it's a beautiful pattern, and I've seen um, well, I've where the other covers. women who have been knitting it have done, and I realized I made a few mistakes. So, these are supposed really? to be garter stitch stripes. Didn't do that. Did them in pattern. Oh, well. Oh. And the stripe here, or the main color between the color changes, is supposed to be three times longer. Guess who didn't read the pattern close what? enough, obviously. Yeah, so this is three repeats. You're supposed to do ten. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, well. Are you supposed to do 11? Something like that. Oh, my goodness. But, you goodness. know... Honestly, it still looks good. I can probably block it. I can probably block it out long enough that I can still make it a double loop. Um, I still think it's really pretty. So that's really nice. All that really matters. Um, There's another Gilmore Girls. But unfortunately, the movie we went to on, or I had gotten up to one of the lace patterns. uh, The I was up to the green lace pattern on that for Friday night, and I knew. I could not memorize, I I couldn't memorize the pattern fast enough in order to knit it in the movie theater. Mm -hmm. So instead, I started the Jimmy Bean Wool uh, binge mystery knit along, which is called Laurel Eyes, Laurel Eyes, Uh, and it's... It's supposed to be done in a variegated and a solid. Um, I'm still working on clue one right now. I'm finishing the row up so I can hold it up and show it to you. Um, Mm -hmm. But there was a, a mistype. And a, probably a misread by myself. Uh, you were supposed to be increasing three stitches every four rows. My yeah. math was coming up to increase one stitch every four rows. And I was like, Dad. it's a square. Why is this coming out to be a square? It's not supposed to be a square. And then I reread it at the dinner table. And I was like, oh, that makes so much more sense. And now it's growing exponentially. Um, but it's really nice. I haven't reached... I don't believe I've reached any sort of milestone on this yet, Um, but it's good knitting, and I knit on it in the movie theater, which was fun. Um, However, we saw Arrival, which is not a movie that you can really knit in unless you're doing garter or stockinette throughout (laughs) the entire thing. Um, Unfortunately, due to the increases and decreases on this, I I I would have had to have been able to see if I started miscounting in my head. Uh, so unfortunately, I could not uh, continue knitting on it while we were in the movie theater yes. after about the first five minutes. It was, it, it was, it was a good movie. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's a really great sci-fi movie. Um, I think it also ended so. in, in a way that there should be something that follows it up. There there could. There could. Um, so see, it's it's got a really, really asymmetric kind of situation going on. I'm, I had think there's some striping to come and then a lace section, but I'm on, I'm not sure. What are you knitting it out of? This is out of Babs, uh, across the universe on her yummy two ply. Pretty. Um, It is very pretty. And the contrast color I have is Zing by Babs. It's bright, bright blue, um, which will, mm, in some places, it might blend with the Across the Universe, but in some places, it will pop, it will stand and out, it will be right. very pretty. Um, but other than that, I really haven't been knitting much, but I was going to show you that I did finish the bum hugger for my friend. Yes, so I did. did. Um, and I finished a matching hat. So it's, it's the double twist hat. It's free, and it's it's really pretty, um, and I think that'll be lovely on my friend. So that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I think. And then I I made my own bum hugger, as you all saw last <laughs> time. I can tell I have a slight obsession happening with it because I also have the yarn, as I showed you last time, for it, and I've now got my mother making yes. one. Um, but other than that, I did take my grandfather's sweater to work on, but it got put in timeout because it decided to hide the pattern from me while I was looking for it in the bag, and the yard oh, yes. was on top of the bag, and I just got mad at it, so it did not get worked on, but I'm going to try and work on that soon, uh, probably after I finish these two cowls, or cows and cows, um, Because these are really nice and really lovely, fluffy knitting for me right now. Um, And for some reason, I'm really in the need for fluffy knitting. Interesting. Um, I want to get things done, I think is the problem. And then, hopefully I'll have these fixed by the next time we podcast. But I have socks. These are my very first socks I made. They're the Flax Socks by Tin Can Knits. Um, They're lovely. They're in a Doctor Who colorway from Krista from Nerd Girl Yarns. Um, I can't remember the colorway name right now. Oh, it's Aha, I Wonder. It's not a DOD anymore. It was one of her uh, 
clubs. Um, but the this was my very first socks, so I did not do a proper cast on for socks. Or too tight? It is way too tight. I can barely get it over my ankle. Okay. Like over my heel, around my, you know, around my ankle. Around my heel, you know, across my ankle. So. Around Robin Hood's barn. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut it. But first I'm going to somehow slip uh, a piece of waist yarn in there. And then cut it and maybe do a. Do a few rounds of ribbing on, on top of the rounds of ribbing I've done here, and then do a super the the knit two together, but the knit 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 two together one. The very the extremely super stretchy. super stretchy one, <clears throat> um, because I like the socks and they're comfy and they're warm. And I wore I wore hand knit socks on Thursday and on Friday. Friday. No, I wore them yesterday. I wore them yesterday and Thursday. So I wore them Thursday and Saturday, and it was lovely, and they're perfect, but I can't have them digging into my calf, because that hurts. No, that's bad. So, I'm hoping to get that done. That might end up being something I do tonight. I haven't really decided, um, but mm -hmm. we will see. I also have to get my apartment kind of back, kind did of. Did we tell them about the leak? I, I don't remember. I think we told you about the leak. I have put my bedroom at least sem semi back. Semi -back. I have sheets back on my bed. I have the dresser back where it's supposed to be. Um, but I still have to get everything else back in there. And so I'm just a little... I'm a little worn out. Sixes and sevens. I don't know if we find out. I think the painter's mm -hmm. coming to our house tomorrow. So I've got to, oh, I've got to scrub the bathroom floor. Because he's going to be taking the wallpaper off of the bathroom. And then priming it. And then painting it. And then... He'll be doing whatever he's doing to your no old bedroom. No more psychedelic flowers. No, thank God. Um, and I picked out colors with your help. Uh, so we have conferred on that. So he's coming tomorrow. So, yes, I will be down on my hands and knees scrubbing the bathroom floor. But it'll be clean. And then we had a day in the car. Oh, first of all, Grandpa My grandfather no clue. is wonderful. What he signs on for when he says, "Oh yeah, I'll go with you to Thanksgiving." Yeah, he. So last, so <laughs> last year was his first Thanksgiving without um, my step grandmother, um, right. his second wife. Um, she had just passed away, and so my uncle and my aunt invited him up to Thanksgiving, and so he went up to Vermont. Yes. However, and said, "I'll come to you for Christmas," and that was really easy. It's only fourteen people, and it's it's a day and a half, two days maybe. Yes. But. This year, we got him for Thanksgiving. What Grandpa didn't understand was that, unlike with my aunt and uncle, where they stay in their own home for the four days or however many days right. their event goes on. And it's really low-key. And it's super low-key. There's, you know, 10 to 15, maybe 20 at most. Ours and is things. As we said, our, nu our, our nuclear family for most events is now 13 people. And that's 14. 14? Well, usually we have Five, Will, Five, six, and seven, Rob. eight. I made dinner reservations for, for 14. fourteen. So I guess yeah, we're fourteen. I didn't count Robbie last time. That's why, because I oh. knew he wasn't going to be there. Um, so we have fourteen, and that's that's a lot. And we have fourteen on Wednesday. On Thursday, we have more than fourteen. More than yeah, and, and we then have thirty-six. To 60-something, yes. depending on If it's a big Thanksgiving when people aren't going to their in-laws, then it's more like 60. And then on Friday, it depends on what sales they're going to, who's bored, who wants to do something. Right, so we're going all so over the place. we might be going all over the place. Um, I mean, this year was really low-key. Mom and I went out in the morning. We then came back. We watched an episode of Gilmore Girls. Fiber and then Space has a larger space than they had when we first go when started going for yeah. Black Friday. So by 7.30, you can just walk right in the store. So Unless you want something you know is going to be of a limited supply, which we right. really were well, not. And we didn't get down there in time on Wednesday. It was just Right, to so check late. out the pre. If they had had uh, Hedgehog Fiber then, I would have bought it on Wednesday, but we didn't get down in time. We had to get over to... Um, your, your, your brother's. No, we had to go to the grocery store. And we had to go to Whole Foods. Yes, Whole Foods to pick up some stuff that we promised we would bring. Yeah. And then um, 
we needed we needed some rest we, time we had, honestly well, it, it had was been four a, o'clock and we I needed know. to be so you know there's and they're only open to five so we did as best as we could do and uh we couldn't get over there so no. oh well then it worked out the way it worked out so we out. went out on friday and that was fine and then we picked up uh christmas presents at the Olio, at the olive oil store, mm -hmm. and they also have teas, and they have honey, um, and, and it so was really good. Um, it, then we came well. back, and my dad was like, "Well, what are you gonna do now?" And my mom and I were like, "We're gonna chill here We're gonna and knit it. and watch the first of the Gilmore Girls episodes because they're now released." Um, so we did that, and then we said, went out to, well, and, then we went and then to West we went Marine. To West Marine. I got a PFD. Um, personal flotation personal device. Personal flotation device for the sailboat so that if I go overboard, it automatically inflates, which is great because they right. were 50% off. And they're light because they're, yeah. they don't have all the K-POC and stuff in them. They're really very light. Uh, and then there's a way to test that. Um, so you blow it up, the manual blow up, mm -hmm. and they just make sure it stays blown up. Okay. And then you release the air out so you're not using okay. up your automatic inflator. And then we went out to lunch at, uh, you found one of the top restaurants in Alexandria that's gluten -free. Which actually was a diner that is a block and a half up the street from our hotel that we've seen the entire yes, time we we've been there. And we've like... It's a very old-timey... It's a very old-timey diner. And it was really good very food. Very good. I had a crab cake. Crab cake sandwich. I, had, I uh, loved it. I had just... I had eggs and bacon and french fries and it was great. It was. Um... But yeah, so then and, and then, then went over to my we went over to our, my my, my grandmother and my grandfather's and hung out there and then we went to my cousins to take a she look had, at a sweater. I made her a sweater and the underarm seam, of uh, the end of where I had seamed it together had poked mm -hmm. through and so she I, thought that something had gone terribly wrong. Terribly wrong. So all I did was I had my needle my uh, darning needle with me and I just pulled it to the other side and hopefully it um, settled it down a little bit better than before and that was about it so and got to snuggle her kitty yes very her cute kitty is very cute and then uh, we went back to the hotel grandpa took a nap we watched another episode of Gilmore Girls I and took then a nap you took a nap and you watched I, it to Gilmore yes, Girls I fell asleep yes totally um out. and then while we were all doing that, my dad went over to my aunt and uncle's house to help my little cousin with a plumbing situation that had the occurred. Handle, the handle came off the toilet with 40 people. This or, can happen. This can happen. So my dad went and helped with that, and then we went to dinner, and then we went to the movies. Yes. But that's a lot for my grandfather. That was a very low-key Friday for us. Terribly low. Okay, we are used. To, we in the past used to get up at four thirty in the morning and do and go Walmart. Shopping. We've done Walmart and Best Buy uh, before, and Toys R Us. Oh dear Lord, yes we. Have. Um, and so we used to go out bright and early and do that. Now with many of the sales online, we'll we'll just do it online on on Thursday night, but with some tromping out to the stores on Friday. Well. Really, it was a very, low, very, very calm and low key Friday, and still he's overwhelmed by how much we did. And then Saturday we get up and we uh, go. To, we wrap, wrap, we wrap the presents. presents that we bought, and then we go to a family friend's house for the afternoon, and we do lunch In Bethesda. there. It's and lunch. We're fed all afternoon. Yeah, it's lunch. It's all snacks afternoon. and candy, presents, and more more food. We then, you know, Tea. dad, dad, and his friend and their son go and walk the dog, and then they check out whatever is new with the cars, and then we do presents, and then we go home once it's dark out. Usually about six o'clock. So it's six hours. Yeah. So after lunch, I'm going by my father-in-law to get out from the table to go into the living room. And he goes, Carolyn, Carolyn. He doesn't do it so quietly. He goes, Carolyn, Carolyn, um, are, are we uh, leaving soon? Are we about to leave? I went, oh, no. no. Oh, no. no. We're not going to leave for hours. We'll leave after dark. And his yeah. entire face fell. fell. I said, I think I told you. Um, so I don't think he's going to come to Thanksgiving with us anymore. It would be very interesting because I think Thanksgiving Day for him was very overwhelming. The noise level is enormous. Um, and then you can just add 20 people onto what we had. 
and that gives would give him an idea, vague idea of what was going on. Yeah. Um, and then plus the car ride. I mean, we are six to seven hours in the car due to traffic, whereas when he goes up to Vermont, he's he on a plane. So it's very different. Um, so we'll see. We'll we see. We'll see. But um, I do think he was very well behaved. I think so. Well, and it was funny in the car. He says, "Well, I think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be able to go to church tomorrow. I'm so exhausted." And I'm thinking, he didn't do any of the driving. He didn't do any of this. And of course, I got, I felt sick on the way going down. I had a headache for Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday on the way going back up, coming back up here, I felt extremely ill. So. I think it was the icing. I don't think so. I think it was also, I, it might have been the icing, but it also might have been I dad's was okay. driving. Well, I was okay. But it might have been the, it might have been the driving. Might have been. But I didn't eat the icing. But I, I also tend to get ill when Dad drives. That's true. And he was more swervy and aggressively swervy this he was trip. Falling asleep. Not even that. Not coming. Not coming down. No, not coming down. Coming down. I think he was just overly verklempt, or you know. Yes. About, possible. It's possible. So he does tend to stop and go, and which has made us both ill over in France. It was hysterical. I, and he doesn't understand that he had he, he was driving a stick Ill. shift car, and with the stop and the go and all that, it made me seasick. Um, but anyway, we we survived. We did survive. We and we have now watched all of the Gilmore Girls. We did not get to watch the last one together. No. We did watch it separately, but we watched it both this morning. Yes, I think we both enjoyed it. We, I enjoyed it, but I didn't like the last ten, ten minutes. minutes. Yeah, that's that's been the consensus. Really do not I mean, like I the enjoyed, last ten minutes. I didn't enjoy the last, like, probably four minutes. Because I, I mean, I don't know. I just, I enjoyed the whole thing. Emily's entire arc is just beautiful. Oh, absolutely. And absolutely. I, I just, she I drives she... me up a wall half of the time in the show, like, during... Uh, winter and spring and half of summer, she drives me up a freaking wall, and then half the other half of summer and fall. She's I just, wonderful. I just absolutely it, wonderful, it's phenomenal. Um, and then I don't. I I think Lorelai has actually. Did well. Yeah, I think she did. I think she's finally like coming into her own, which is what she needed to do. And I think instead of always apologizing. Yes. Yes. And I think with Rory, I mean, I don't know. I've always, I'm, I've I'm, always liked Rory as a character. I mean, I'm yes. the daughter in <laughs> this mother-daughter situation. Really? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. Uh, so I've always like liked her, but when she decided to be a journalist, that never really felt like her plan A uh. ever. And so I don't know how she, if you really don't have a plan A, how you have a plan B or C or. D or E. Um, so that I don't think she knows enough about herself. I don't think so either. And I, I feel like that's something we had a problem with in, in the original series as well. I think you're right. So, so we, we don't want to give anything no, away. We're no trying very hard here. not to do any spoilers. But, um, mostly about Emily because Emily is wonderful. Um, but I, I'm slightly disappointed. I, I am too. So, but I am also. It out there. But I'm also, like, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed Suki. Oh! Oh my god, that scene. <laughs> that scene made my life complete. I love that, yes. I, or this one. Or this one. Or this one. I, I could, I couldn't stop. But I think this or was the, perfect. Oh, this was pretty, oh, that, that was pornographic. You know that one from the trailer, so that one was fine. But it was hilarious. Um. Yes, I think it was. Really I think good. it was really well done. And Michelle, it's he's he's such a side character, but his arc is also beautiful within it. Um, mm -hmm. And it really shows how key he is to the story and to Lorelai as a friend, um, which is beautiful. Um, I wish there had been more Miss Patty, but I understand. You know, there's only so much you can do. I wish there was a little less dosy. Taylor, but, mm -hmm. you know, he, he is who he is in that town, so, you know, you're going to get a lot of him. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed Paris. I enjoyed uh, Lane. It was a good, it was, it was good. It was it good. It was well done, and it left room for more. Yes. Um, 
But it which also, which I guess is good. Which is good, and I it definitely also closed the door on yeah. it. It like they don't have to continue it. No, and I think they dealt with Richard's death quite well. They did. They did. I that was and very as, touching. And as Amy Sherman Palladino has said in multiple interviews, whenever it's brought up, "Damn you for dying." About uh, Edward Herman. I'm gonna start crying because he was such a, he. He was such an impact in the original series, and he still made his presence known in the yes. uh, the revival. Um, but I think it really showed how much Amy was upset, and how Amy and Emily were so. Yes, it was beautiful. Not that she's upset over this. Or no, not at all. <laughs> Um, Not that, like, you know, So, yeah, we it was watched emotional. that. In fact, we watched one of them in the car, which was, you said was helpful. Which was helpful, yeah. It distracted me from getting too sick in the car. Um, and, of course, Dad was dismissive of me being sick until, like, he had calmed down from the driving and was like, oh, you actually are not feeling well. I was like, yeah. Really not. Yeah, I'm really not feeling well. Um, but, yeah, I think that has been our week. That was our week. I forgot. Thanksgiving for us really is a week. <laughs> it is. And, yes, more so than Christmas. Yeah. Should I stand up and show this? I now have... You have buttonholes. I have buttonholes. Oh, my goodness. Well, maybe we can just... Yes. Because hopefully next week I'll be able to wear this. Yes. So well, you should one, be able to wear two, it by the end of the... End, end of, of today. Wednesday. So I've got one... Whoops. One. One. Two. Three. Four. And I'm going to reinforce them um, because even when I made them smaller than the button, they, they enlarged. So I will crochet around them to give them um, some stability. And then eventually I will get a grain ribbon to go up the back in order to stabilize. But I think that's doing quite well. I'm almost to the turn of the collar. And I think what I'm going to do here is that I'm actually going to seam the it collar. down to there okay, so that this will come up. And then it will just flip over onto the collar and go out and around. Because other, the collar is just... Enormous. Well, not only that, but it's doing its own thing. And I, I really want my yeah. clothes to be much better behaved than this. Uh, but I love it. It's going to be so warm. Um, it was so, it, Our friend's house in Bethesda, they keep it at about 58. Because um, they're slightly crazy. Well... They they believe in the cooler weather being really good for you, and, and in fact, while we were there, they opened the porch door, so we had a lot of lot of fresh air, um, and exactly. I, I put this on my lap and I worked on it, and that mm -hmm. helped keep me warm. Um, other than yeah, that, warm. I don't know too much else. I'm gonna go home. I'm going grocery shopping on the way back. Oh, that's lovely. And I'm going to then sit down and and hopefully finish this today. That would be good. That would be very good. That would be good. I think you can do it. I think I can too. And I will investigate the state of the Wi-Fi at home, which is another reason why we're here instead of there. Yeah, also because I really didn't feel like getting out of my apartment today. Because oh, well. it's lovely to finally be Just home sit. <laughs> after however many days we've been away. Um, it, it, it was a long week. But... Yes. It was good. We got, I got a bunch of knitting done. I, I'm pretty proud of that. Yes. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and finish this cow by end of month and submit it for house cup. I'm going to try and get this shawl done sometime soon. Well, as um, I said, I think I'll But be I, able I to do take... all of those works in progress that I had previously, I still have. So I'm going to, I should probably put this shawl down and, you know, the cowl down and get working on those since those are things that are due at certain times, but at the same time, well, I sometimes you just can't resist right. shiny. I'm going to finish, hopefully finish this today, and then I can work on that class tomorrow, and then I can start mm -hmm. my Christmas knitting, which will be nice. That would be nice. Very nice. Yeah. So, I'm going to, we're going to say goodbye. Yes, we'll say goodbye. And I'm going to use some of that loose leaf tea that I bought at the olive oil shop, which doesn't sound right, but it's a nice... Um, variety pack of loose leaf tea and I'm going to go home and I'm going to brew some up and I'm going to enjoy it while I finish this and while my husband tries to figure out the Wi-Fi. So with that, thanks for coming. Oh, and you know, thanks for everybody who keeps coming back 
We God really bless appreciate you. it. Um, if you want to make comments, you can do that in the down bar, or you can go to Ravelry, where we generally have a link to the Rav uh, group. Group. We have a group, and um, you know, if you care to chat, great. If not, be silent. That's fine. Uh, certainly, yeah. sometimes it's good to be in within yourself, and that's fine. Inter Always good. Yes. Um, and with that, I'm sure we'll have things to talk. Hopefully, I'll have the buttons on by next week. This whole thing will be done. I'm not thinking. And I, can show I think off. you'll I get it done good. for end of month for the. I, I'm sure. I just mean you know, I don't have to have the grow green by then. Right. So, the grow green you don't have to have done. Um, I think that I think by tonight I'll have it done, and I, I can take my great. pictures and submit it I and and get great. on with my holiday knitting because I have three projects. So for anybody who says that you know Christmas is far too commercialized, um, and we should make all our presents. First of all, my that takes hands forever. My hands would not take making all the presents. You also have to start the Christmas before and not knit anything else unless you are speedy, speedy, speedy like our friend is. Yes, Tanya might be able to do it. Oh, I bet she could. <laughs> but well, other than that, I think we're we're really good. I think we ha behaved ourselves. I, I I think I'm going to be able to get my Christmas knitting done and maybe get um, maybe one of my works in progress off the needles nice. too before the first of the year and uh, I think that would be neat um, yeah so that's about it so thanks I really appreciate it we really appreciate it bye bye